Good morning and welcome back into Morning Moments with Jesus as we begin our week with our devotions with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord has impressed upon my heart to re- take us back to a series that we did back in September of last year called the Return Series. And in that series we prayed for different areas from the church all the way to our country and the world uh, that uh, is part of our morning moments with Jesus family other countries and as we do this this morning and the rest of this week I pray that as we listen to these devotions once again we will listen with not only fresh ears but with a fresh heart and a renewed spirit that we are living in a generation that is a very pivotal and a very, very vital generation in which we live in we are called to stand for the kingdom of God and his work and I pray that our hearts would be turned to that and that we would return to the authority and power that the church had in the early days that we would have once again so I hope you enjoy this week's series again called the return and I pray that this morning as we pray for the return of the church that we would all stand in one accord in one agreement that the church is the most powerful nation and powerful army upon this earth we need to take dominion over the things that God has given us the authority over so you enjoy this today may God bless you and may God keep you amen there's a movement across this country this week called the return and its design and its efforts are to bring America back to God for us to return to our heritage, to the ways that has made this such a great nation, that our decisions that we make, that the things that we stand for will glorify God once again. I believe the Bible bears out that no country, including America, will ever truly return to God until first the church learns how to return to the Lord. And the church will never really return to the true biblical definition of the church until we as individuals search our hearts, search our lives, search our decisions and the things that we do on a daily basis and say, am I really making Jesus Christ the centerpiece of my life? In the Word of God, in the Gospel of John, I find that in chapter 8 and verse 31, Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on Him, If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. In chapter 13, in verse 35, he says, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to another. And in chapter 15, in verse 8, he says, Herein is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. In the King James Version of the Holy Word of God, I find that the word Christian is used only three times. The word believers only twice. But the word disciple is used 273 times. The word disciple means a student of God's Word a follower, one who learns from the Lord. So let's pray this morning that the church would return to being students of the Lord, not in lip service, not just in showing up for church, but in really desiring to learn the ways of of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we pray right now for the return of the church, the return to its power 
and authority. The return, Lord, to a church that glorifies your holy name, stands against sin and those things that rob the world of the true treasure of the power, protection, and provisions of God Almighty. Father, may the church glorify your holy name. May we always meet under the banner and the power of the Holy Spirit, not showing up just to be seen or not making it some kind of governmental place where we just do business. Father, may your pastors and your preachers cease from trying to be CEOs of some corporation and once again become true servants of you and your people. Father, I pray over the church right now. Let us be rooted in your word, bearing much fruit, And may the whole world know that we are your disciples because we have love for one another. Father, in this world and in this country in which we live, there is so much hate. There's so much bitterness. There's so much evil against evil. But in the midst of that is a lily in the valley a bright and a morning star. It's love. It's Jesus Christ's love. Let us have love for one another and let that love from the church pour out into the highways and the hedges of life and show the world that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, we thank you this morning. In Jesus' name. Pray that you take a little time today. That just take a little time and spend some time with Jesus. Be safe, be strong, and always be blessed. We'll see you back here again tomorrow as we pray for our spiritual leaders in this country and in the world. You have a great day. God bless you.